Hey guys, what's up? It's Tom again from TTT Tom's Tech Time. Today with a special episode about export settings. I want to show you how to get your 4K or Ultra HD footage rendered using Adobe Premiere Pro. I'm using the CS5, but it works with most of them. So just check out how I am doing it. And on that demonstration purpose, I am using Blackmagic UHD footage, but it works with... Uh, all kinds of 4K footage as well, like, I don't know, the Lumix GH4 4K or GoPro Hero 4 4K or maybe you have created, um, I don't know, time-lapse using After Effects or something. You can use all kinds of 4K or Ultra HD footage on that purpose. So, when you're done editing, go up to the left-hand side and press File. Go down to Export, select Media or as a shortcut you can use Ctrl plus M. Now as the format, we choose H.264 which is a pretty well-known codec already from full HD rendering and stuff. You might have heard of it if you haven't, uh, just forget about it and learn it now. Um, we take a look at that little list and we see there is no Ultra HD or 4K available at all, no presets. The highest resolution that I see is HDTV 1080p um, with a frame rate of 29.97 frames per second. Actually, that's not what we want. So we go down to that submenu, the video submenu, and see that we could resize the image ourselves. Let's just give it a shot. 3840. Oh, enter. And we end up with an error saying invalid frame size and da 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 da. But we can get around that pretty easy. Simply press OK and follow my instructions. So within that video submenu, you simply scroll down a little. Um, and you first off can check the frame rate. Actually, 2997 is fine for me. Um, you go down to profile first and within that menu you select high. Now the next uh, is named level in English and in German it's named Pegel. So within that level submenu you select 5.1. You even go down a little more until you reach that uh, bitrate uh, bit settings menu and you select VBR2 pass and as the target bitrate you can select something around 80 and maximum bitrate I don't know something about 100. Um, actually that's already what we wanted to achieve but you have seen he changed the frame rate again so again 2997 or whatever you're using and now let's just type in um, our settings it's 3840 times 2160 that is uh, ultra HD if you're using 4k it's uh, 4096 times 2304 doesn't matter so right now we could already click uh, render out with maximum render quality and click export but you can save that preset as well up here pressing that button so you won't have to do that before any rendering again and you could call it I don't know call it YouTube uh, UHD or YouTube 4K depending on what you have set it and right now it's saved within that list and you can simply select it. So right now guys we're already done and we can click export and we'll have a film uh, rendered out in Ultra HD or 4K uh, depends on what you have set it in here and we click export and see if it works out. It's an older laptop, so it takes a second, yeah. Everything seems to be working out perfectly, so thanks for watching that short, awesome tutorial. That was Tom from TTT Tom's Tech Time, and there are plenty of other super duper videos available within my channel. Lots of DJI Phantom stuff and other After Effects or Premiere Pro stuff. Just check it out, and I'm gonna post some of them around my head for tutorials. Click them and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching and I gotta get some Haribos now. I was recording that episode really about 40 times because my computer fucked up all the time. Sorry for saying fucked up.